Hello everybody, this is Leobok, and welcome back, and welcome to the final episode of Let's Play Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland. We're gonna finally fight Deity and beat him to a bloody pulp. That's right, we're gonna beat him up, just like we should. Okay, so, a few, few tips for fighting this guy, if you played Brawl, if you played, a, uh, if you fought him at all in Brawl, you're pretty familiar with his attack set already, the main difference being he doesn't have uh, the rocket jet, but other than that, most of his movesets are pretty much the same. So the big difference is he doesn't have, the big difference is he's not being played by a human, so yeah, he's a lot easier. <laughs> and that's easy, guys! Wow. That took less than two minutes. Hmm. We're now in level eight, the Fountain of Dreams. Indeed, he's pleading for us not to stick the star rod back into the fountain. And he keeps trying to slow us down, but it doesn't seem to be working. Ooh, Kirby is a beast! And, oh, that doesn't look good. Kirby, what have you done? He called the apocalypse! Don't hurry to save us! Okay. <coughs> now that we fight the real final boss. A ball of stars in space. I'd make a Super Mario Bros. reference, but the particular one I'm trying to make here, I really don't think anyone would... Or no one I know anyway got would get the reference, simply for the fact that uh, nobody knows the Koopa Kids. The original seven Koopa Kids. Um, but ba uh, basically, general strategy for this guy, dodge the stars he throws at you. That's it. <laughs> um, dodge his moves. Uh, they're pretty easy to predict. Um, about this point his health when he does the four star sling, the four stars will kind of overtake the center. Or that, do that, whatever. They'll try to home in on you somewhat. So at that point you're pretty much screwed. But, other than that, don't worry. Um, as you can tell, we just beat him, so we're going to get the fourth star and end this fight. Okay, so we don't end it, end it, but we do get to fight the second phase of this guy. On the moon, apparently. So who, what is the true form behind this star ball? Well, it's none other than the vicious and evil Nightmare. Yeah, I bet you didn't see that one coming. The game's called Nightmare in Dreamland. <laughs> and actually, it's, and actually, its name really is Nightmare. Um, okay, so basic controls. B does that. A jumps in the air. Um, the way you gotta damage this guy is when he opens his cape, um, and you see that what looks like staticky stuff, that's, me, that's where you hit. That's his weak point. You hit him, he'll, he'll interrupt any of his moves that he's doing at the time. Oh, ouch. Um. Okay, good. I good. We started this guy. Whew. A couple times it didn't do that. But yeah, basically hit the static part under his cape. And you're okay. It'll interrupt mo most, if not all, of his moves. So, yeah. Pretty good way to not take damage. Hit him. Um, right now, as you can see, he's not. That's not going to do any good because his cape blocks us. So I think you possibly could hit him from behind. Um, stay in the corner. You're pretty much safe. Um, because he cannot really hit you as long as you try. He cannot hit you. <laughs> um, right there. Oh yeah, him just in time. Time that one perfectly. Um, yeah, so basically, this is it. <laughs> this is the final boss. Um, as for that move, you want to try to control your jumps. You get it right by where that last star hit, so that's pretty much a guaranteed way to hit him. Um, there we go. One more hit should do it. And as you notice, we have not taken a single hit of damage since we died. Ooh, we killed him! Yeah! 
And he just dissolves into nothingness. Woohoo! And then all of a sudden... Explosions! Yeah, they won't hurt you. 100% complete! Now you can choose extra from the start game menu, which we are not going to do. Extra is a hard mode. And... Our battle is so intense it caused a hole in the moon! Just blew it up! And that's why the moon is shaped like a crescent. <laughs> According to Kirby, anyway. Our hero Kirby has fought bravely to recover the star rod. But King Dedede didn't mean any harm. Well, not this time, anyway. He certainly wasn't trying to harm the Fountain of Dreams. Again, not this time, anyway. It all began when the nightmares appeared in the fountain. The nightmares rode the currents of, of, of the Fountain of Dreams. That actually kind of makes sense. Wreaking havoc and tormenting the residents of Dreamland. Through their minds! When King Dedede hid the Star Rod, the power source of the Fountain of Dreams, he was actually hiding it safely away from the nightmares. Okay. Borrowing King Dedede's power, Kirby managed to defeat the nightmares. How did Dedede help? Now that the Star Rod has returned to the fountain, everyone's dreams will return. So fluff up the pillow and get ready for a good night's sleep. Seriously. How did we borrow Dedede's power? I mean, other than him throwing us forward, flinging us forward, which is really more him just eating us and spitting us out, he did absolutely nothing! Except for hide the Star Rod and made us go through all this crap. Which, to be fair, was fun. <laughs> Despite all the fails. Yeah. So much, so many painful memories. Um. So here at the credits, you'll see basically a boss montage. And see all those silly ways the programmers can think of to defeat these bosses. And here, and uh, actually, this is, some of these are kind of creative. As you can see, Cur this this Kirby took the form of Lavos, the destroyer. Yes, I am calling Spike Kirby that because it looks just like one of the Lavos. Actually, it looks just like Lavos himself. <laughs> well, the outer shell, anyway, which, let's face it, that's really what Lavos is. <laughs> and here we get to fight the sun and the moon. Actually, there were enemies in the uh, Kirby Superstar, I believe. You had to fight them to, sh to uh, keep them from fighting each other. <laughs> yeah, kind of, kind of bizarre twist, isn't that? <laughs> Turned out it was a uh, little jester dude, uh, Marks, that caused it all. And he was evil, even though he looks cute and cuddly. All right, Kirby. He was really just an evil mastermind. <laughs> oh wait, I just spoiled a game. Uh, for those of you who haven't played that ridiculously old game, <laughs> take a nap. I like Kirby is right now. And um, here we get the cool, uh, the cool fight with Meta Knight. This one they managed to make look even more epic than uh, I did, <laughs> even though. And here's the final battle with Dee Dee! And this... I don't think you can do that with the, uh... With the bat... With the, uh, suplex? Or whatever this form is called, or I forgot what it's called. But that's actually a pretty creative way to defeat a boss. Anyway, this game was made 1993-2002 by HAL Laboratories. And we are not playing boss endurance mode. <laughs> okay, so, with that... I will see you guys next LP.